Hello everybody, now I would like to introduce you to ask a personal vision of Bluetooth trends in telematics. But why Bluetooth after all? Well, some of you might already know that this very summer we released actually first ever fuel level sensor based on Bluetooth interface. And some of you really consider this as a little revolution in telematics and we are appreciated to you. But for us it's rather than an evolution because we have been working on this sensor for almost 10 years. But before we get to our personal story, let's just highlight some important dates of Bluetooth development. Bluetooth appeared long ago, back in 1990, but only in 20 years, in 2010, there has been released its fourth generation, aka BLE. It is applicable for autonomous devices, because BLE device uh, does not maintain constant connection to other devices, but instead mm, keeps connecting and disconnecting again and again and again. And this uh, really allows drastically increase the battery life. BLE devices should and would work for years. Okay, in 2015, some first trackers supporting BLE interface started appearing on the market. And you know better than me that the primary device in our industry is a tracker. And here are some trackers supporting BLE we have, but we don't have sensors supporting BLE. So, in 2018, this very summer, ASK company releases first ever fuel level sensor based on Bluetooth interface. With BLE module in build, with autonomous power source and no wires whatsoever. But an initial idea of making such an ultimate sensor hit us back in 2009. Just as we produced our very first thousands of sensors, we produced a prototype of a wireless sensor. It worked on so-called Zigbee interface and worked perfectly. We tested it, but the tracker producers did not support the idea of integration this uh, interface in their uh, products. So we never started a mass production. But our R&D department guys are very clever, so they just took the idea and developed a completely different product, which we called Ascot.net which is basically an autonomous active RFID tag communicating to a special reader via this very Zigbee interface. By the way, the product is still being sold very successfully. The tags work for almost three years on one battery and provides up to 15 meters of the range. In 2015, we are establishing a separate department, IoT department, which has started investigating one more promising interface, LoRa interface. And in 2017, we are releasing a weather station. You might ask what a weather station has to do with BLE sensor. Um, our weather station integrated all the interfaces that we have ever worked with. Basically, RS-485, Bluetooth, GSM and GPS communication, and finally, LoRa. By the way, LoRa features extremely low power consumption, just as BLE, right? So, for almost 10 years of constant investigations and development, we had an experience with Zigbee interface, with autonomous tags, with GSM and GPS communication, with LoRa, and finally, Bluetooth. And we believe, really believe, that this experience allowed us to finally release first ever fuel level sensor on BLE interface. Let's highlight some important and intriguing specifications of the current version of the sensor. First, the battery. It's very crucial and we selected it very carefully. It's soft LS uh, production from France. The capacity is 2600 mAh and the self-discharge current is less than 1% Per year. The sensor will be working for seven years on one battery. We can guarantee this. The ingress protection is traditional for us. It is 67 and the battery is replaceable. The construction is the same as for TD online model or other. 
model of the sensor and it features the use of an additional cover made from polyamide, Kalashnikov rifle case made from polyamide by the way, so you can even touch uh, a screw uh, without breaking a special seal. You might be so skeptic about the distance of operation, is it one meter or two meters or three meters? No, it's 100 meters line of sight and not less than 10 meters if we're talking about installation on a real vehicle. There are two ways to connect a BLE sensor to your tracker. If your tracker supports a special BLE a protocol, you can just connect it directly. If your tracker does not support it, you just use a special Bluetooth base that we produce as well. Okay, considering the commercial sales, to the date we have sold more than 1,000 sensors to 12 countries. We've solved more than 200 different custom cases. Now take a look on the graph of a wireless BLE sensor. You can see there is no interruptions, no drops to zero, so the data is transferred with the same completeness and the same reliability as in the ordinary case. Perfect! By the way, you can connect up to four sensors to one tracker right now, but we didn't stop on just fuel level sensors and our angle sensor based on Bluetooth interface will be out soon. Also, the Escort net system will be out soon as well. We're also releasing a special temperature sensor based on Bluetooth interface. Some news about the software. We've recently released a completely new configurator with mobile version and desktop version. Uh, it has really user-friendly and easy to study interface. The desktop version is already available on our website and the mobile version will be out within a month and will be available on Google Play and App Store uh, platforms. We're also planning to release a client's application which provides only fuel level data and temperature data right to the driver's cabin. In some cases it will, it will replace an indicator in the driver's cab and in some cases it will replace even a trucker. But why people go wireless after all? Why they prefer this new technology in compare to very much tested wired technology? There are two basic reasons. The faster installation time and actual absence of vandalism cases associated to wireless. But if we look deeper at a long distance, this is a reduction in the cost of the product because the more vendors will use this kind of product, the less the final price will become. Agreed? So we encourage everybody to join the party, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be fun. We encourage you to implement BLE modules, of course, but also a unified BLE protocol. Uh, it will make the game easier, it will make easy to connect different sensors to trackers. It will benefit everybody. A little prediction from us, if you wish, within three years, all fleet vehicles will be traveling uh, with wireless sensors on the board and it will become as usual as wireless internet on your mobile phone. In conclusion, we encourage you again to implement a unified data transfer protocol because we already know very successful examples of implementation of unified data protocols. You all know uh, BLON IPS protocol and LLS protocol, but just recall these protocols only after the adaptation and implementation by the community served as a serious push forward for both the development of peripheral devices and software. Please feel free to request us for BLE protocol description and for any technical support whatsoever. And that's it actually. Thank you for watching this video. It was sincerely your escort.